How are you viewing tomorrow night's game? Uh, a game that our team needs to win. Uh, we had them beat in Sacramento and uh, ended up losing down the stretch. We played a good game last night, and now we need to come out tomorrow night and get a W. Do you have a history or whatever you call it when you do it like that? Is it hard not to go into that game? I mean, when you're talking about a guy that that's that is that skilled uh, and their best player, you know, you as a team you go in with a different mindset, and individually as bigs, I think we all go in with different mindsets. Um, you know, for me, I, I've talked about it in the past. It's, it's a matchup I like. Uh, I think on the offensive end, for us, he, he likes to roam in the paint, uh, pick and roll. Uh, particularly, I suppose, with me in it, um, has given them trouble in the past. Uh, so we'll see what, what presents itself tomorrow night. And then guarding him, uh, you know, I've watched hours of film on the guy. Uh, again, very talented, uh, strong, good at finishing around the rim, uh, has added the three to his game, uh, good at breaking people down off the dribble at this point. Um, so I'll come in with the same mindset I always have. Uh, play as hard as I can, be physical, and uh, do my best. Because, because of what happened last game, where he kind of crossed the line, as you categorized it. Sure. Does that change anything for you? Dead honest, no. Um, I've always, like I said, I've always had a, uh, I've always approached him a little differently. Uh, because you have to. That's just that's just all there is to it. Uh, I'll be ready to go. Uh, watching my film from last game individually, not not anything to do with the team. Uh, and ISO, he, I think he uh, has. Uh, I, I feel like I do a pretty good job on him. And uh, you know, again, that's, I'm, I'm big on watching my film and understanding what I do well, what I what I didn't do well, and. I, I, I've guarded him pretty well every time I've stepped on the floor against him in ISOs and one-on-one -on -one situations. You guys have like, some antics from him? I think you called him last Is that what you just go in um, That's. I mean, anytime you watch a game when we're playing him or when anybody else is playing him, it's um, normally something's going on. Um, I think that... Again, I'll come into the game focused and ready to go, understanding what I need to do individually um, to try to slow him down. And as a team, we have to understand what we have to do against him and the rest of their team to slow them down and not only that, get a win. What is the key to slowing him down? Uh, you got to meet him early. Um, can't let him get deep, deep seals. Um, you got to take away angles. A lot of times he's, he's big and he, he's good around the basket, so you got to take away his angles and use length against him at the rim. Um, when it comes to his breaking people down off the dribble, you, he a lot of times he likes to take two to three dribbles and bump you and then get up. So you got to brace the brace for the contact and then and then go meet him up top. Um, Physically, he's good at getting you out of his way, but he's not necessarily good at elevating off the floor. And so I think that's where length and a little bit of athleticism can um, disrupt his rhythm to the game. And and again, it's 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 never a um, it's never a one-on-one -on -one matchup per se with Demarcus Cousins. Um, it's it's a team matchup, and then the bigs have to do their job to to uh, make things difficult for him. To be clear, you expect it. Guard him a bunch, though. Uh, I have no clue. Uh, to be truthful, I have no Game idea what's going to happen tomorrow night. <laughs> Give the, the last time you guys played here, uh, he shoved you, you shoved back, both got technical. Sure. Uh, just kind of describe what happened, what, what precipitated that. Uh, you know, I think that, again, I always go back. He's an uh, extremely talented individual. Um, but I, I do think that he tries to uh, physically uh, outman you and uh, really lay it to you. So when, when he hits you, you, you gotta hit him back. That's just all there is to it. Um, you know, it's, it's a physical game as is, uh, but with a player like that, um, you have to stand your ground and, and know, let him know that you're gonna be there all night. So that's what, 
that's what that was. Given his attitude towards you, you clearly get under his skin. Is that part of what makes guarding him difficult, or how you change the way you play? Um, you know, again, the truth of the matter is, I I do my best to meet him early and and meet him often, not give him space to run and, and roam free. Because, again, the, the, in my opinion, he's the most talented big in the NBA. You know, Anthony Davis, but uh, you know, he's. If you, if you don't, you make things easy on him, then, then it's just, I mean, it's, he'll put 55 on your head. So, um, again, in ISO situations, I, I feel like I've done a pretty solid job. Um, you know, last game, clearly, he, he played very well. Um, so, so my job, Mace, Ed, whoever's on him, uh, has to do their job to slow him down. we got to show him a tight paint and, and make things hard on him. You know, when, when, when a guy is that skilled and able to put the ball in, in the basket at such a high rate, you have to make things difficult for him, or, or it's just going to be easy for him. Myers, I think, I think you're, if I'm reading you right, you're trying to downplay this. Match. I wouldn't say that. Um, because I think a lot of people are looking at this game as, oh shit, Myers and Marcus. Are um, you know what, last, last game was a little odd. I, a couple tic-tac fouls early, and then I'm having to lay off a little bit. And then, you know, the motion gets into the game. Um, you know, the refs, it's their, you know, it's kind of their jobs to try to manage the emotion. Uh, then then it's hard to get him in, into him early. I don't want to pick up an extra foul. So, like I said before, I, I'm always excited to go against the guy. You know, it's a challenge. It's, it's one that I look forward to. It's one that I think I've been successful with um, in all the games I've played against him. So, um, I wouldn't say I'm downplaying it. I, you know, I, I get it for every game the same. Uh, but when it's him, it's just a little more. She said you, don't, you guys don't have a history. Um, where I can document three or four things where you, well, that are out of the ordinary. Uh, it's not a long history, I'd say. Yeah. Um, you know, things have happened, clearly. I mean, you know, it's um, – I don't know what it is about me that he doesn't like. But honestly, there, there's nothing I can do about that. It's my job to go out there and compete and make it hard on him. So it's not uh, a rivalry? If you want to call it that, call it I that. I mean, you like playing against him. He gets mad at you. What is it? I don't know. Do you, 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 you guys remember, name it whatever you want. Do you remember the, the first, the, the genesis, the first thing that whatever pissed him off or made him um, You know, I, I think it, last. I think back to last year. I, I, I had two, two solid games against him. One in Sacramento, uh, where I guarded well, but there was the team defense was also solid. Uh, but I felt like I did a fairly good job. I, I made some shots. I spaced the floor. We won the game. Um, we came back here, same deal. I think Coach saw that I could guard him pretty well. Um, we ended up winning the game here in Portland. Um, he had a bad night, like four for eleven or something. I mean, he, he, he had just he had just come off like two fifty twenty games almost or something crazy like that. And you know he came to Portland, and, and I did my best against him. Again, I think I think I was able to space the floor, make some shots, um, and then make things difficult for him uh, while I was defending him. And you know this year, same thing. You know it's my job to go out there and uh, compete for my team, uh, be ready to make plays when the ball comes to me, and that's all I can control.